Welcome to the fourth episode of Browsing My Games Library. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter C. Call of Juarez, colon, Gunslinger is the fourth, and at the time of this review, the most recent installment in the Call of Juarez series, which was developed by Techland, who are based in Poland, and published in cooperation with Ubisoft, who are based in France. Gunslinger is available on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Windows. Chrome Engine is a proprietary 3D game engine developed by Techland, which has evolved over nine years of development. Number 5 debuted with Call of Juarez, The Cartel, the previous game in this series, and was replaced in 2013 by Chrome Engine 6, which is, as of 2019, still in use. Thanks, Wikipedia. You're welcome. The cell-shaded art style. The tongue-in-cheek humor. And most of all, the RPG-style mechanics all reminded me very strongly of the Borderland games. So if you're a fan of those and want to play something in a similar vein, but set in the Wild West, this might be right up your alley. The game is a fun plot-driven ride. The environments are large enough that you don't feel like you're being corralled down a narrow path, despite the fact that every level is very linear. Although there were rare occasions where I'd get lost and have to backtrack. The use of an unreliable narrator is a lot of fun. They attack from on high like Apaches often do. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on the hapless enemy's head. Yes, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. I liked the skill tree, and I appreciate that the game doesn't penalize you too much for dying. They never throw you back too far from the spot where you bought the farm. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. And so my only major complaint is that the showdown mechanic seems kinda lame. Your quick draw hand and your crosshairs both drift about randomly, and one is required to use both thumbsticks to keep them from doing so. After spending a sufficiently long time on this unengaging task, your opponent begins to draw, and you need to immediately press a button to draw and fire on him before he kills you. If you've kept your hand and your crosshairs within the narrow sweet spot, and your button mashing is fast enough, you will win. If not, you have to try again. This minigame does not get less boring on subsequent iterations, but this is a relatively minor complaint. All in all, the game has a marvelous sense of style, and even the occasional hiccups don't slow down the pace too terribly. It's challenging without sacrificing fun, and walks a line between being a run-and-gun shoot-em-up and having strategic sections of cover-based combat. Frankly, I would have liked less cover-based sections, but that's just me. Finally, as a Wild West game, a limerick seems most appropriate. There once was a stranger from Juarez. A gunslinger, or so he says. His tales have contradictions, but he dressed for his fictions. A real cowboy hat, not a red fez. Not to toot my own horn, but can you come up with two rhymes for Juarez? Once I've met YouTube's requirement of a thousand subscribers, I'm going to opt into the Google AdSense program and donate 95% of the proceeds directly to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. They have a stellar A rating on Charity Watch, and they fund a lot of excellent research. I love bioscience research. And I hate cancer.